what the motives are behind the report, basically. On that score, the Surgeon General does not mince words, said Coop. If I had my way, I'd ban smoking, period. Bob Fall, CBS News, Washington. Let's take a look at the weather, and what are we looking at for the next several days? Still good weather? Yes, I foresee just one blemish that may show up, and that'll be Saturday. We've had a good week so far. Yeah. I hope it continues. And this uh, little blemish I'm talking about Saturday is not any big deal. Good. It just means a lot more clouds than what we've been used to lately, uh, if it should come about, and that may retard the warming somewhat. But after that, clear sailing. I don't see any problem from now through Christmas with no major outbreaks of cold air and no precipitation. We'll review those maps after this. Some call us the mom and pop shop. Well, three generations are active in the shop, and we all believe in friendly service. Some call us the shirt shop. We do have over 8,000 shirts from which to choose. Some call us the big and tall shop. We do have big and tall sizes. And some call us the outlet store, because you can buy here for up to 35% off regular retail. So call us what you will, but please call us for all your men's clothing needs. Salesman Sample Outlet. I'm Vernon Hanson, and this is my son, Kurt. We farm and live here in the Cottonwood community. We plant a new variety of corn this year, DK-656. The crop looked real well all year and stood up extremely good. Test rate was very high and yielded 133 bushels. See these dealers, Maxi AgriSales, Westphalia Grain and Fertilizer, and Sellers Grain Company. Working women of America with honors fashions from Target. The classic camp shirts, French terry knit tops, fashion sweats, all on sale for just $9.99. Because there are clothes you have to wear and clothes you want to wear. Honors from Target. We had a few high clouds around the area today, and we averaged 10 and a half degrees below normal on the thermometer. Let's take a check of what we saw. Started out at a rather cold 24, and wound up with a respectable 53, and a little light south wind. At the present time, we have 37 in Waco, 43 Temple, 36 Colleen, with humidity 89%, rising barometer, northeast wind at 4, and we're going to see a sunrise sunset tomorrow. That will give us about 10.05 uh, on the day length. Here is our satellite picture. It reveals fair weather over the state. Now, these are just high clouds showing up here, and there is a little low cloud in us beginning to show up around Alice and Corpus Christi as we get the flow back off the Gulf again. A little bit of snow in the Mississippi Valley tonight, and some up here in northeastmost Montana, and the other problem would be in the Eastern Lakes area. There's really not any major problem on the map tonight. We've got northwest winds in the upper levels. That will be persistent on the long-range charts, indicated to be persistent to right for the next four or five days at least. With that kind of pattern, you can't do too much uh, to deteriorate the weather here in the state. Well, what we have now, a little low-level return of moisture in South Texas, the front drifting into North Texas. It is not going to be even as stout as the one we just had yesterday. Old temperatures should be down around 28 or 30 at night. Highs tomorrow near 50, upper 40s, probably be in the 50s on Saturday. This is what we saw today. Uh, middle 60s there at Laredo and McAllen, 68 at Brownsville. Warmest temperature that we could find in the state and our cooler temperatures up north. There was a 43 that showed up up at uh, Texarkana. This is what we had nationally. Nobody today uh, stayed at the, uh, below the zero mark. Uh, we did have uh, Caribou and Maine at the zero. And the other end of the country down in the Southern California region, again, in the 80s, 85 at Los Angeles, one of the warmer temperatures across the country. Now we've got the national map. This is the weak storm center in southern Missouri that's racing off to the east. I haven't seen but a couple of inches of snow reported at any particular point in northern Missouri, but it could be from one to four, anywhere from St. Louis on east toward Louisville and Beckley, West Virginia during the night and early morning tomorrow. And the other problem would be the lake effect snows up in western New York. Six inches could be a problem up in the lake belt. And then out west, same thing we've shown you all week, the persistent high, the stagnant air, uh, the dense fog that will form the valleys of California and many of the valleys out in the interior of the west, and that has advisories for travel up. Well, checking tomorrow, nothing changes out west. We see a wind shift north briefly tomorrow, then back into the south. A few areas of light rain possible in deep south Texas. 
We're going to see a snowstorm moving through the northeast, but it will be moving at a fairly fast rate of speed, so I wouldn't expect a lot of snow. Eastern Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, Long Island perhaps with uh, oh, two to four. Saturday, clouds for us, a little light rain in South Texas. But that all gives way to sun on Sunday. So our forecast to read this way. Partly cloudy, we're going to be a little cooler tomorrow. And then we're going to say partly cloudy and warmer for the weekend, although Saturday could see more cloudiness than, uh, than sun. 30 to 48 tomorrow. That wind will be south tonight, shifting north tomorrow, back to the south tomorrow night and into the weekend. Look at it on, on the bright side. No, no white stuff during Christmas time. You can go out and enjoy yourself. Yeah, and I think the travel will be excellent across yeah. the southern part of the country for the safe Christmas. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Roy. Christmas for the needy in Waco may turn out to be bright after all, thanks to area social service organizations. When we come back, we'll tell you why. Uh, I could go out and grab a quick burger, fries, and a soft drink. Or, for less than 50 cents more, I can go out to Grandy's and grab a quick country fried steak dinner with country gravy, mashed potatoes, my choice of baked beans or coleslaw, two of Grandy's famous made-from-scratch dinner rolls, and a soft drink. Now, when the difference is less than 50 cents, <laughs> I know where I'm going. Grandy's. Fast food that doesn't taste fast. From Walmart to you, great values on everything you need for the holidays. Like Kodak Color Print Film. Stock up now on these money-saving multi-packs. Triple packs of 135 or 110 color print film are just $7.48 each every day. Disc four packs are just $8.48 every day. Plus, each multi-pack comes with a $2 mail-in rebate from Kodak. Walmart has savings to make your holiday the best ever. That's real savings. That's the Walmart way. Wiggly, wiggly, I'm coming home where I want to be. Watch for the friendly face of Piggly Wiggly in Waco, where clean stores and friendly service is our trademark. Save up to 20% with triple coupons. Enjoy our home folks' attitude and triple coupons. Requirements posted in store. For triple coupons, watch for the friendly face of Piggly Wiggly. The original American supermarket. Piggly Wiggly, I'm coming home. This Saturday, drive your Christmas present off the Bird Culgin Ford lot. 1985 LTDs and Thunderbirds are priced as low as $7,100 and covered by the Ford Extended Service Plan. Immediate financing available. Bring your family to Bird Culgin Ford City this Saturday. Santa will be there with candy and gifts for everyone. Be a hero this Christmas. Give your family a Ford from Bird Culgin Ford City. You have heard a lot lately about the holiday blues, but there are many people who work together every year to try and turn the blues into smiles. There are just six days left before Christmas, and local social service organizations are frantically working to help make this season a joyous one for many needy families. Peter Wyckoff has the story. This is a familiar scene the week before Christmas, the gathering of toys for the underprivileged by agencies that specialize in helping others. But this has not been a typical year. Organizations like the Salvation Army say that donations of both cash and toys are down, but applications for help are up. Salvation Army Captain Phil Murphy says that a shorter Christmas season and a sluggish economy have helped to make his job tougher this year. The Toys for Tots program is short almost 2,000 toys, and cash collections are down $8,000. Yet 400 new families have asked for help this Christmas. We have more people because I believe the layoffs and the closings of some of the, uh, the plants and all. And other people, I think, are becoming a little bit leery as to what to face in 1986. And so I think that's made the tremendous increase this year of people applying for Christmas help. Yeah, that's how I'm going, just for... But the poor need more than just toys at Christmas time. They also need food. Down the street at Caritas, food donations are pouring in from local grocery chains, elementary schools, and trade organizations. And here, too, demand is up. We have already almost doubled what we did last year. At the end of November, we almost had two million pounds of food given away this year. And last year, we only gave away a million. Despite the increase, Caritas Warehouse Manager Elizabeth Nix says there will be enough food to go around this year. She says the people who have enough realize that there are plenty who don't. Peter Wyckoff, Region 10 News, Waco. Football is the top sport in Texas, but in Austin, there are some eager athletes trying to make it to the top in a sled. Coming up, that story on Deep in the Heart of Texas. 
the ground. Oh, it was Herb, all right. No doubt about it. What did Herb look like? Well, Billy here started bending Herb's ear about how the burgers taste better at Burger King. Yeah, well, you know how those flames sizzle that flavor into that juicy beef. What did he look <laughs> like? <laughs> yep, and how they make them taste more like they might have just come off the backyard grill. Well, then the next thing we know, Herb disappears quicker than a duck after a June bug. What, <laughs> what did he look, look like? like? A real, real short. short. Uh, big brown, blue big eyes. Uh, kind of poor. Bald hair. It's almost Christmas, and you last-minute Santas, the Western Fair in Lot has just received over 200 pair of men's and ladies' Justin Ropers, and over 400 pair of boys' Acme Ropers, those original world-famous Justin Ropers. Justin Ropers, all colors, 7150. Boys' Acme Ropers, sizes 8.5 to 3, $28. Sizes 3.5 to 6, $31. Make this Christmas the best ever, and go to the Western Fair for those Christmas boots. The Western Fair in Lot, open nightly till 9, until Christmas Eve. Thank you, Central Texas, for making it possible for modern TV and appliance to serve you with quality merchandise like Zenith. Yes, you, our friends and customers, have made it possible for modern TV and appliance to serve you for 28 years in the same location with Zenith. We invite you to join us during our 28th anniversary sale and save as never before on Zenith VCRs and color TV. The savings are yours at Modern TV and Appliance, downtown Killeen the only appliance store you'll ever really need. Texans can dream all they want of a white Christmas, but they usually end up settling for blue skies and sunshine. So what do you do if you're a Texan trying to make the Winter Olympics? As Mike Reeder reports in this week's Deep in the Heart of Texas, where there's a will, there is a way. There's so much to think about, but there's so much to concentrate on. There's nobody just sitting and daydreaming. There's nobody saying, I'm on here for the ride. <laughs> It's a long way from the snow-capped peaks of Europe to the hills of Travis County, Texas. But thanks to a helping hand from the hills and Austin Physical Fitness Center, the road to Olympic gold for an unlikely group of Lone Star bobsledders has become an easier path to travel. Meet four members of the Lone Star bobsled team. Driver Frank Hutchinson, sideman Jeffrey Hayes and Raymond Perez, and brakeman Thurman Hines all native Texans, and all ready to start on the road to the 1988 Winter Olympics. But getting started is the key in more ways than one. And it was the need to perfect that start that led Hutchinson to approach the hills with an idea for building the nation's only bobsled practice track. Without this track, without the hills, and the, the support that the hills is, is giving us, without it, we, we wouldn't be a contender. We just could not make it. Hills founder and medical director Ted Edwards says building a bobsled track in the heart of the Sun Belt struck him as a perfectly sensible idea. I think for Texas to have a bobsled training track is typically Texas. I mean, no other person other than a Texan would go out and build a track for a sport that basically is not their sport, but with the idea to achieve the best possible. The team believes the practice track will provide a competitive edge against the well-prepared athletes from the communist bloc. And they're honing that edge with hours of road work to build up legs and time spent in the gym pumping iron. The sacrifice isn't all physical. Hutchinson admits he's spent himself broke buying equipment. And the team's still desperate for sponsors, even with the help they've already received. But Hutchinson says the price isn't high when you consider the reward. For us to have the opportunity to represent not only our people in the community, the people of Texas, but, but of, of our nation, you got to be kidding me. That's winning. Mike Reeder, deep in the heart of Texas. And that's great. They're not even practicing on thin ice right now, but uh, Baylor is on thin ice, you say. They may very well be on thin ice. We will uh, have to tell you those details in a story John Morris has for us right after this.
This year, like most years, more hardworking folks will...